Hey guys, it's Chad. We're driving lightning. Thanks for stopping by for another video. We really appreciate it. In fact, thumbs up to you. You deserve that. We appreciate you. We had planned something special when we hit 600 subscribers, but the problem we ran into was we made our video for 500 subscribers, and then nine days later, we're at 600 subscribers. So I don't know what you're doing out there, but we really appreciate it. In fact, I do know what you're doing. You're hitting subscribe. So those who haven't yet, why not? Hey, 600 people can't be wrong, right? Of course they can be, but they're not wrong in this case. We appreciate it. Thank you so very much. So this video is going to be a little special because sometimes we get comments that we just can't ignore. We have to do something about them. As you know, many times we've built entire videos around comments, and that's what this is going to be. So a few days ago, well, maybe a week ago, we made this video right here. This is where we are saying, hey, what does it look like with the Aptera's length and width and all that against other vehicles? And we got a lot of excellent comments about that, which we really appreciate. One of them that stood out and that required action for sure is this one right here. This came from Ken Day, K-N-D-A-Y. So I know the Aptera is 88 inches uh, wide, but what happens when you get up to 88 miles per hour? Sorry, I rewatched Back to the Future. Don't ever be sorry for rewatching Back to the Future, first of all. And as usual, a hypothetical, nonsensical question like this requires an answer in kind. So we're going to prove exactly what happens when you get the 88-inch wide Aptera up to 88 miles per hour. So I've got Sarah on, in the driver's seat of the Aptera, and she's going to take off, and we'll just see together. So let's get right to it. Sarah, go. Okay, now you know exactly what happens. When you get the f up to 88, you uh, break the law, and then the cops come, and then you take the flight, and you end up in the future in just a few days where this channel has a 1,000 subscribers. Make that future prediction come true. We sure would appreciate it by subscribing to this channel. That's it. The next video, I promise, will be just a little bit more serious. That, hey, Chad would drive the lightning. Here's a video you can watch right here. If you don't like it, hey, click on this video right here. We've got something for everybody. I feel like a car salesman at one of the dealerships. We've got trucks. We've got cars. We've got, okay, that's it. Have a great night.